Hi everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the game Arch Rival. This game came out in 1992 from Parker Brothers, and it is for two or more players. Now the object of Arch Rival is you are going to be placing pieces into different places over here on the arch with these different compartments, hoping that you do not end up making the arch collapse. So let's take a look at it. Okay everybody, here we go. We'll talk about the components. Right over here, you have a base that uh, can go back and forth like this. And right over here, you've got what are called the arch supports. And you're going to be using these arch supports to construct the arch. Now, the arch is going to be making made up of these different compartments that have different colors on them. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be uh, stacking these different pieces into these different compartments. And you're going to be rolling the dice to determine which one. So anyway, in the beginning, you're going to go ahead and set it up, and then you're going to be removing these two blue supports over here, and you have to do this really carefully. And there we go. And so the object of the game is you're going to try to not become the player that ends up making this thing topple. So what's going to happen is everybody's you're going to pick up the dice and you're going to roll them. Whatever color you roll, this is going to uh, tell you which color compartment that you'll be able to choose to put the pieces in. If you roll the arch rival, then the player who is to your left is going to choose which compartment that you're going to put the pieces in. And whatever you roll here is going to tell you how many pieces that you're going to be putting into a certain compartment. So if you roll the five and a green, and you would be putting five of the pieces into one of the green compartments. And you can pick whichever shape, whichever color that you would like to in order to accomplish this. So let's go ahead and show how it works. Let's say I roll, I roll the six and an arch rival. So the player says, okay, I want you to go ahead and put it over here in the yellow. Now the middle over here is what is called the keystone. So I'll go ahead and put some things in here. And you can put them outside, inside, stack them however you want to. Let's just say he picked yellow. So I'll go one, I'll do two, three, four, five, and then six. And then I'll go on to the next player. So the next player rolls. He has a six blue, and the blue is going to be the middle piece over here, which is the keystone. So he'll go ahead and put in six pieces here. One, two, three, and it went ahead and toppled. So player two just lost the game, and uh, everybody else won the game. Now, if it turned out that everybody, that all the pieces in the game were placed into uh, all of the compartments and the arts did not fall over, then what's going to happen is everyone's going to roll the color die, and what's going to happen and then they're going to have to take out the pieces that are in that particular compartment and they'll be able to choose one unless they roll the arch rival in this case the opponent to the left would tell them which compartment they would have to try to take the pieces out of anyway the game will keep going back and forth like this until the arch topples and then uh whoever topples the arch is going to lose and that folks is arch rival so my final thoughts on arch rival well, I definitely believe that people who are fans of Jenga or any kind of dexterity games that involve stacking and the possibility of uh, the tower or whatever getting knocked over are going to get a kick out of this game. Uh, really think it's cool that they were able to make the structure do this uh, to where you've got these pieces just uh, hanging off of each other along with this balancing component on there. It's pretty cool. Um, really, the only thing I noticed is um, the pieces over here on the edge... Um, and he, the compartments there, they seem to be hold pretty stable. So I've noticed that with me at least, that if I have to pick a color, I'll try to pick uh, something that is close to the edge. And of course, you know, if, if I have to pick the compartment or color for someone else, I'm going to pick someone near, near, near the top. Um, but yeah, um, this is a cool game. I mean, I think as far as games where they require skill and balance and it has that little bit of suspense to it, hoping that you don't end up knocking it over, it's definitely different. I don't think I've ever seen a balancing game or a dexterity game with an arch shape on it like this. So another one of those cool games from Parker Brothers. All right, guys, that's my review of Arch Rival. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming.